After spending several months working from home on two separate computers, I wanted to get rid of some of the desk clutter by using one keyboard and one mouse instead of two keyboards and two mice. A friend of mine recently built a Bluetooth ergonomic mechanical keyboard which led me to look into making my own that was compact and good for typing while working as well as gaming when I'm off the clock. After looking on Reddit, I came across the Blue Micro Store, linked in the description. I spoke with the owner inquiring about how to build an ortholinear Bluetooth mechanical keyboard. He provided me with what I needed to buy and even made a YouTube video showing how to solder it all together, which I've also linked in the description. The Blue Micro Store has split ergonomic, ortholinear, Luddite, and many more keyboard kits, so check it out if you want to build your own board. The parts that came in for my build include three 5x5 PCBs, three 5x5 plates for the PCBs, glorious Holy Panda switches, diodes, standoffs for the PCB, and the microcontroller that makes everything work together. Blue Micro Store provided me with everything except for the keyboard switches, which you can get on a lot of different websites. For this build, I bought mine on PCGamingRace.com, linked in the description. In this video, I'll quickly show you the steps of putting everything together to make the keyboard, and then you can check out their video for more in-depth instructions. The first thing I did for this was solder the three 5x5 PCBs together using cut pieces of the diode legs. Then I soldered in the diodes and the sockets for the microcontroller to connect to the PCB itself. Then you have to solder on the pins of the microcontroller. I initially cut the legs too short and had to desolder and resolder these pins back on, so definitely follow the blue micro video if you want to do this yourself without making the mistakes that I did. The next step was to solder the switches onto the PCB. Once all of the switches are soldered in, it's time to solder all of the connections between the microcontroller and the PCB, plus the battery and the reset and the power buttons. Once you have everything soldered together, the final steps are to get some keycaps on and flash the keyboard. The keycaps that I ordered from this build came from pimpmykeyboard.com, which is linked in the description below. If you're interested in learning about how I made the custom resin escape key that I have on this keyboard, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss the video I'm making showing you how to make your own. Now that everything's all soldered together, I wanted to design and 3D print a case for my keyboard. Due to the build volume of the Ender 3 that I have, I had to design the case in two halves so I could actually print them. The threads within the PCB standoffs themselves will hold the fasteners from the case to the PCB and hold all of the pieces together. I added a few cutouts to the case to give access to the power and reset buttons, allowing me to plug in the keyboard to charge the battery, and I added slots to add wrist rest attachments and pegs to angle the keyboard. I ended up keeping the keyboard flat and not using the wrist rest attachment slots, but I kept them in the design so I could use them if I ever wanted to in the future. Once the two case halves were printed, I sanded them down as best that I could and spray painted them with a few coats of primer, followed by some matte black paint. After everything dried, it was all set to put together and finish the build. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notifications bell so you get notified when I post my next video. Some of the projects that I'm currently working on are another 3D printed Nintendo Switch dock, a resin keycap video, a video where I repurpose an old PC part for something new, and more. And be sure to follow me on Instagram to see the projects that I'm working on before I actually post my videos. Thanks again and have a great rest of your day.